Hey, what's up guys? Welcome back. Today I'm getting ready today and doing this makeup. This is replicating that TikTok filter, the bold glamour filter, whatever. It's like pretty much making everybody look completely different and it's very realistic. But then I was like, I feel like I could totally do that with makeup. So here we are. Um, I have been sick. I don't know if you can still hear it in my voice, but I have been so congested. So we have a lot of catching up to do. We have a lot of pop culture to talk about. We're gonna just gossip a little bit today, hang out, chit chat, and recreate this TikTok filter. I hope you guys enjoy. Please subscribe and let's just jump right in. What is up you guys? Welcome back. Um, it has been a minute. I got sick last week, so I have been very MIA and very eager to get back to filming. What better way to come back and make some videos than to do a get ready with me because these are my favorite videos to film. They're very chill, relaxed, and we can just chit chat because also the week that I'm sick, so much has gone down in like pop culture and I cannot wait to gab with you about it. I literally spent the entire time just like laying on the couch, sometimes watching a little bit of TV, mainly sleeping, but then in my waking hours, I was on TikTok, infiltrating my brain with such unnecessary celebrity gossip, but it has been so entertaining and I'm glad I was sick during that week because it I had a lot of content to consume. First things first though, I took out my hair extensions. So this is my hair. I still um I got I took them out yesterday. I went to this oh, what is that? Um I went to the salon yesterday and got them taken out and I went to the salon yesterday and got them taken out. So I haven't really like styled it myself from scratch. This is just what's left over from yesterday. And then I ran the um, air wrap through it just really quickly just to have some sort of a style for today. And I don't know, basically, I have just always felt not pretty with my natural hair unless like, um, I think it was 2019 that I chopped it off. I chopped it to like here and then I bleached it a lot. I felt really cute with that haircut. I really liked it and I've actually been contemplating doing that again. But the other side of it is I never felt pretty unless my hair was completely bleached to like it was like falling out and breaking off. I would go every six weeks and do a full highlight. That's insane. <laughs> now let's see, I probably get it done every 12 weeks, but those every 12 weeks I alternate with a partial. So they're only like the parts that you can see and then a full. So it's like, I'm not getting a full head of highlights for 24 weeks. So I've come a long way, but yeah, I was just, the week that I got sick really kind of like confirmed it for me that I wanted to take out my extensions because I just have always felt like I needed to rely on my hair to look a certain way for me to feel confident in my skin and and even still like I've struggled with that um as an adult where's my foundation by the way I just used the rougher hydration cream this doubles as a face primer but also a moisturizer and now I'm going in with the Pat McGrath uh foundation um but yeah, so I finally was just like, what am I doing? First of all, extensions are so expensive and I've just been really just paying more attention to expenses and things like that. And I was like, this is so expensive. Um, it's probably one of like the more expensive things and that like I buy. And it was, it's all for like, I always just want to look good online and like feel comfortable with the way that I look and have like, I don't know. It's all about like an image. And then I was like, nobody cares that you have your hair long. Like nobody cares except for you. And I was like, I don't know. I just like got over it. And so, um, which sucks because I just bought a fresh set of hair extensions, but I just wanted them out. And I just wanted to like be able to run my fingers through my hair. And honestly, like my hair doesn't even look that bad. Like it's fine. Why am I? Yeah. So I feel so good today. I feel like if this was even just like two months ago, I'd be like, oh my gosh, my hair. But yeah, I just, I just got, I just got so over having the extensions and it wasn't even just having the extensions. It was more about just like the feeling of relying on the extensions. So yeah, I don't know. It's really not that deep. It doesn't need to be that deep, but for whatever reason in my head, I've made it that deep. So 
Um, that's the first thing. Oh, I know you guys are gonna ask. I do have the next books and makeup looks video made. I just haven't edited it yet. I got sick right after I filmed that. So um, I never got a chance to edit it. That will be coming very soon. I just have to tackle it. Those videos do take a lot longer to film and a lot longer to edit because I'm trying to like be factual with what happens in the books and stuff. So um, it is a lot different than editing just like a regular makeup tutorial. So it does take a lot longer. Um, so that's why I haven't gotten to it yet. But yeah, that will be coming out very soon. I know you guys were eager to see that one, but it is on The Paris Apartment by Lucy Foley. So that will be coming out very soon. For today's makeup look, I really want to do that. Um, I want to replicate the filter that's on TikTok that everybody's talking about that like, it's a different type of filter. It's called Bold Glamour. Um, I'll put a picture of me with the filter on. I I took a picture of me with it or like a screenshot with the filter on my face um, before I sat down to film this before I even did my hair just because I wanted to show you what it looks like. But in case you're not on TikTok or in case you haven't come across the filter, basically like what everyone's talking about is how real it looks. Like you know how if you put on a filter and you like put your hand up to your face or something, you can tell that there's like a filter overlay over your face. This one's different because you can touch your face and it doesn't move. It like straight up transforms your face on the camera. So everyone's just like, hey, you guys, like this is kind of like crazy that these filters can do this now, but also it's just like a little check-in with ourselves to remember that like, again, most of what you see online isn't really real anyways. But yeah, so I tried on the filter and then I was like, maybe I'm delusional, but I feel like it looks so similar to the way that I do my makeup. Um, so we're just gonna, I mean, a couple of things are different. Like it kind of like, it slims my face a little bit, makes my lips a little bit bigger and my nose more snatched. Gave me the perfect eyebrows. Um, but yeah, I was like, let me just recreate this today. And of course my skin, I have a couple of breakouts today, unfortunately, but we're gonna work with it. I'm gonna go into the Pat McGrath concealer. Get this under the eyes. I'm gonna do a little bit more than I normally would just because I'm trying to look like this filter. It's just crazy. I was thinking earlier just about how far we've come with social media. Obviously like there are good things and bad things, but this filter made me realize just how wonderful it is that people just feel so comfortable online and just to be like listen don't compare yourself to other people online because most people are using filters anyways and you know just to be cognizant of it um i think that's what's most important i don't i don't think there's anything wrong with making the filters i mean filters can be fun i play around with filters as well but if i feel like i need to rely on a filter that's when you have to have like a check-in with yourself like if you feel like you can't go on line without a filter on, I think that's when it becomes dangerous. And I don't think that that has anything to do with the people that are making the filters or the people that are using the filters. I think that needs to be a check-in check within ourselves. So um, anyway, all that to say, I like how so many people are on TikTok just kind of talking about that and being like, hey, this is what I look like with this filter and here's what I look like with it with it not on because I feel like years ago, if this thing would have came out, people would be using that shit and not saying anything um, and not even not saying anything, but now at least it's an option where like on TikTok, if someone has a filter on, you can see it. It shows it on as like, like, hey, this person is using this filter where at first I feel like that wasn't really a thing. So yeah, I don't know. I just like the transparency. Like, I don't care if people are using filters, do what you want to do. I literally, I don't care. Um, because too, like, <laughs> the thing that gets me too about filters is if I put a filter on and then I take it off, it makes me feel butt ugly. But if somebody else does it and they take the filter off, I'm like, oh, why did you feel like you need that? You look amazing without it. You, it's all in our own heads and we're all our own worst critics. So it's like, I think because of my feelings towards other people, there's never been a time where I've seen somebody with like a full glam like filter. And I'm like, wow, yeah, you really need that filter. <laughs> like you look way better with it. Normally, I feel like people look better without it anyways. So if I start having those feelings with themselves, I remember people probably prefer me without a filter anyway. So it just helps me to just feel more confident in my skin. <laughs> also, this concealer makes me feel confident in my skin. By the way, this is the first time I'm doing my makeup since two, three weeks ago, two weeks ago. I don't know. 
it's been a minute because I have been ill. <laughs> um, before I get into TikTok stuff, because I have been literally glued to TikTok this whole time that I've been sick, I have decided to train for a 5K. And then once I am done with that, I think I'm gonna train for a half marathon. Um, I kind of just decided that today. Um, I'm gonna go into the contour wand from Charlotte Tilbury if it would focus on it. There we go. Um, I am not much of a runner, but I do really well with goals and hitting goals like physically with workouts and like stuff like that. I do really well with that sort of thing. So I have just been um, kind of trying new things with my fitness and my and like my diet and stuff like that. And I, I tried some new things with my diet and it did not go well. I felt like absolute shit. Um, and that could be a separate video, but um, yeah, with that, I'm like, bitch, just keep doing what makes you feel good. Um, but yeah, I just needed like, I've just been wanting like a, a, like a fitness goal. Like I would by the end of the year, like to do a pull up. I'd like to do better at my push ups, um, things like that. But I haven't had like a, anything to like train for. Like in 2021, I had my wedding coming up. So obviously I wanted to like look my best for that. So I was very consistent with my workouts and hitting my goals for that because I had like an end goal date. Yeah, I was just thinking, you know what? I think I could do it. I'm not much of a runner at all, but I can learn. So I got some running shoes. I got a pair of Hoka's, which it feels like I'm literally running on a cloud. It's incredible. And my trainer that I work with is very knowledgeable in running. So he's given me some tips and I think I'm just gonna go for it. So I think that the five, I think I could technically run a 5k right now, but because I'm not like a runner, I'd like to train more for that. And then from there go into the next um, just the next level and just kind of work slowly at it because obviously you don't want to hurt yourself But yeah, I'm so excited. I am excited for a new goal and just to focus on something other than like Weight loss and stuff like that. Like I just that can be secondary last year when I really focused on lifting heavy That was really great. Oh my god. I always end up talking when I'm on my throat Um, I have like lines. That's not the vibe um, last year when I focused on like lifting heavier in the gym, that was really good for my mental health because it just helped me focus on that and not like trying to lose weight or anything like that. It was like a healthy thing that I could focus on that was promoting muscle growth. Um, so that was really great. So I'm excited for another like goal to reach. I, I feel like I look a little crazy on the neck area. But yeah, I'm excited. I'll try it out. See how it goes. Um, yesterday was my first day training and it was a breeze and I really enjoyed it. So we'll see where this goes. I've also seen some TikToks of girls that like run and stuff. And one of the girls said like, you can never run too slow, but you can run too fast. And so yesterday when I ran, it was like, like a little trot, barely much of a run at all. And I think that's why it was so easy for me. But that's great because from there I can just, I can pick up the pace and it's no big deal. But if you go too fast and you can overdo it, you can hurt yourself, all those things. At least from what I've learned so far. Um, so yeah. Okay, I should have gave myself lines that was not on purpose. Next, let's go into some powder and powder my face. So let's get into some of what has gone on, down on TikTok over the last week or two. Um, again, I was sick at the perfect time because I had so much to look at. Now, I will start with the Selena Gomez and Hailey Bieber stuff. I have mixed feelings on it. I'm, if I had to choose, I'm team Selena, but honestly, I'm more just team anti-Justin. I think he's not the vibe and I think both of those girls can do better than him and clearly Selena has moved on and honestly like I mean I'm hoping he's not a cheating lying whatever that he used to be because that would really be sad for Haley um but yeah that was um very interesting and entertaining to just see unfold I don't agree with like bullying someone though like I I do think that Haley has openly bullied Selena like 
like not only necessarily with like the eyebrow thing that just happened I feel like that was kind of like the cherry on the Sunday but there were things from like years past with like things that Haley would post on Instagram like the day after Selena would post something and it was like that's like very blatant um and just like with her like rolling her eyes at like Taylor Swift a couple years ago on that like I don't know if it was a talk show or a game show or whatever things like that but at the same time I think we're all forgetting how young she is I think she married Justin at like 21 so they started dating I think when she was like 17 or something that's a kid even 21 is like it's so young so not to like excuse that behavior but I think about like who I was at 21 who I was at 25 like we grow so much and we learn so part of that is just like like there's a video of her like in Kohl's I think she's people thought it was Selena Gomez but she was like making fun of a poster of I think it's Natalie Portman I'm like she literally looks like she's 15 in this video <sighs> I don't agree with like the bullying but like I mean I probably did the same shit when I was 15 we're just immature and we're learning and whatever it's just so unfortunate all the shits online um again though I don't agree with the bullying I, I and I do think the eyebrow thing was bullying and all that on the flip side I feel like everybody then just went and did the same thing that they're mad at her for like they're comparing her appearance they've been comparing her appearance to to Selena's and like all of this and all Selena has ever said is like let's just spread love and be nice be kind let's all she's ever said so and then I went and rewatched Selena's um documentary on Apple TV the my mind in me and on that she even said she just doesn't want to be associated with Justin anymore that she keeps going through life and he keeps getting brought up that's exactly what's happening here too even though everybody means well to like support her you're still like you're still attaching her to this situation she's so like I get the vibe that she's just so over it all and done with it and that like even the people that are her supporters still bringing it up is like like I don't think she wants that you guys I really I mean I don't know the woman but I don't think that she wants that based on things that she has said so and especially like the hating towards Haley um I feel like all of that energy the majority I feel like the most of that like negative energy should be towards Justin because he's the one that like cheated on both of them and whatever <laughs> the fact that I know all of this information I'm like quite embarrassed um but yeah that's how I spent my time when I was sick but yeah I am a, a Selena fan I didn't even know who Haley was until she married Justin so whatever um what else oh and then all the drama with Vanderpump, Vanderpump Rules. So I watched, I think, season one and two of Vanderpump Rules when it first came out forever ago. Maybe season three. So I know like who, like I know the main players, you know, but I'm not like caught up on everything. I've seen a couple of news things here and there. Like I, I get the gist of Lala. I get the gist of Sheena. I get the gist of Brittany and Jax, I think that that's who he's married to. Um, and then I knew that Katie and Tom had gotten divorced just from like, it's just in the news, you know what I mean? It's just like on my For You page, it's on like the Instagram, not the not my feed, but the, you know the grid where it's like the, it used to be the popular page. I don't know what it is now, whatever. So I knew that. So then it, <laughs> this video popped up of on my uh, TikTok of some girl doing um she like pulled up Lala's story <laughs> talking to Raquel about her Mickey Mouse lawyer and she repeated it at the same time that perked my interest I was like this is amusing what the fuck is going on um so then my ass went down the rabbit hole wow I'm just wow uh <sighs> Also really quick, I'm gonna do a little bit more of an intense contour just because that filter is like, we're gonna be doing that today if I can find my contour powder. So yeah, if you're unfamiliar with Vanderpump Rules, if you like celebrity gossip, it's worth going down the rabbit hole. You don't have to go too far. It's like all everywhere. Um, but f if you've never heard of it and you don't plan on going down the rabbit hole, basically the gist of it is there is someone named Tom and he's been dating this girl Ariana for like 10 years. They're practically married. They have a house together. Um, he 
for at least the last seven months has been cheating on her with one of her closest friends, Raquel, whose old name used to be Rachel. And I don't know why, but I guess she changed it to Raquel. I don't know. Um, so yeah. And then there's a girl named Sheena who's best friends with Ariana and she's friends with Raquel. And Raquel and Sheena were together in New York and she just like casually told Sheena about it. And rumor has it, I don't know if it's true, but rumor has it that Sheena decked her one when she found out and punched her in the eye. It's just wild. And um, it was all kind of like happening in real time. So I was sitting there sick on the couch, just like, what's going on? Super interesting. Um, And now I'm watching Vanderpump Rules. Oh, also, um, The Bachelor. I have never watched The Bachelor. When I was a kid, I watched like random episodes because my sister-in-law liked The Bachelor. I th if I remember correctly, it's been so long. So I know what it's all about. I know what goes down in, for the most part. So I was on TikTok and this girl came up and I was like, oh, like, she's so pretty. She's just like dancing on the beach, looking all cute and pretty. And I was like, let's, I wanna watch, let me go to your page. And so I'm like looking at her page and she's so pretty. Um, turns out she's on The Bachelor. This is Jess, um, the girl that's on The Bachelor. And so then I was like, let me just watch this damn show. Everybody talks about The Bachelor. So I'm like, let's just watch it. Oh my gosh, is it Friday? I think it comes out on Fridays, right? Let me look. Today's Friday. Da, 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 da. No, it comes out on Monday. Damn it. Never mind. Anyways, um, so then I started watching this season of The Bachelor and I have mixed feelings. Let me, I just, first of all, I already forgot his name, but this, is it Zach? This man is a douche, a douche bag. The fact that these women are like crying over this man, they are so much better than he is. They are, so I'm watching this and I'm just like, girls, like, come on, y'all are better than this. Like this man is, he ain't shit. So I don't know, that's just like my stance on it. And then what happened, I'm not gonna spoil anything, but what happened with Jess, I was just like, she was my favorite. And when that happened, I was just like, good for you, girl. And then he said what he said, which, okay, spoiler, I'm gonna tell, I'm just gonna say it right now. I'll put timestamps to skip if you haven't seen it yet. But basically, Jess was just like, I'm not gonna like fight for you. If you're not interested, like I'm not gonna fight for you. I told myself when I started this, I'm not gonna like, you know, try to win you over. Like it should be mutual. Um, um, like, yes, at the end of the day, it is a competition, but like, I just respected her so much for that. So then she got up and like, he walked her out. Then he came in and he told the girls that he had to send her home. It's like, you liar. You lied. That is not what happened. She dumped your ass. She dumped you, bitch. And that's why he was like so upset because you know what it was? He was trying to manipulate her into fighting for him. I could see it. Like he was just like, I could see, like he made a facial expression and it was like, he was just kind of over the fact that she wasn't like bending over backwards. And I think he didn't give her a one-on-one -on -one date because I think he really did like her. So then when she was upset, I think he was just bothered. Like, um, you're on the, this is my impress, like my, I think in his head, it was kind of along the lines of like, you're here for me. You're on the bachelor for me. It's not the other way around. So that's kind of like where I think his mindset was. So when she was like having genuine hurt feelings, I think he was annoyed and almost wanted to put her in her place to make her like fight for him. And I, I bet he was probably gonna like make her wait until the last moment to give her a rose, but then ultimately give her a rose. And that's what I think he was doing. I don't think he wanted her to leave. I think he genuinely really liked her. And so when she was like, yeah, I'm not gonna fight for you. <laughs> I think it like really took him off guard. And so he said that to the girls that he like he sent her home when that's not at all what happened. And he had to get up and leave because he was about to go cry. He was crying because he was really upset because he really liked her. I don't think he wanted her to go. I get why you guys like why people like this show. I am riled up. Um, it is just so freaking bizarre to me. Like the next episode they're supposed to go on um, what's it called? Like dates with their whole family. So he's gonna meet these women's family. I think there's four of them left or something. 
You're gonna go meet four women's families? Shouldn't that be saved for like bottom two? Or not bottom two, but like the two that are left? I don't know, that's like a lot of, I mean, I guess, I don't know. It's just like the whole concept to me is so bizarre. Even getting proposed to after two months and you and like in it being a normal scenario, let alone dating like 20 women in the process, that is just bizarre to me, bizarre to me. I, now this is also coming from someone who didn't get married until 10 years later, but I was a baby when we first started dating. We were like 17 when Ruben and I started dating. So I didn't get married till 27, but yeah, still, it's just like, it's just the whole con the whole concept is just so bizarre to me. Same with Love is Blind. It's like, but that, to, Love is Blind to me actually makes more sense. Hear me out because they have like straight up intimate dates where you don't see the person, but you like actually are having like conversations and getting to know somebody for like a long period of time. And then when you really have a connection, you stop dating someone else, but like you have that like more time together, it seems. I mean, I think that when they're in the pods in Love is Blind, it's only like a two week process. But on The Bachelor, they don't, like one of the girls that I think he has like a really big connection with, She's only had, I think they've all only had one date with him. They've only gone on one date and now they're meeting the families. It's just so bizarre to me. So I get why everyone's like so into it. Um, but then I looked up, I was like, what is the statistic for The Bachelor of like successful relationships? Like if it really works, I mean, cool, but um, like, what is it? And I think, I don't know if this is true. There has to be more than one relationship that has lasted, but there's a, at least one that has lasted. It's like from the earlier years or maybe like the first year or something. I don't know. You guys can let me know down below in the comments because I'm not familiar with like the Bachelor stuff. Um, but like also, here's the other thing. They have these girls doing challenges. What? Like, why are you having them do a challenge? Like, why are you having them strut to show how confident they are? Like, that's just so fucking uncomfortable. I would have left right there. I'm like, I'm not, no. Do you want to get to know me? Cool. If not, bye. I don't need to prove anything. I'm not going to prove anything by like the way that I walk down this runway. That's just so fucking weird to me. It's so weird. Um, but I'm invested now. I'm also, so I'm invested in The Bachelor and Vanderpump Rules. I need to watch them as they come out. Apparently, back to Vanderpump Rules, they picked up filming again, and apparently it's gonna be a part of this freaking season. So in like a few weeks, not a few weeks, I think it'll be longer than that, because I looked at last season, there were 17 episodes of Vanderpump Rules, so we're only on episode four or five or something. So it'll be some weeks, but... Yeah, I am like, I'm excited. We got some things to, to keep talking about here. Um, Cause I like, nobody else watches the stuff that I know of that like in my friend group, no one watches these shows. And so I'm like, I guess I'm just gonna have to talk to you guys about it because yeah. I also feel like kind of late to the game, but also like, well, now I have all of this stuff to catch up on. I've got how many seasons of The Bachelor are there? How many seasons of The Bachelorette are there? And then there's Bachelor in Paradise, which I don't even know what that is. You guys can let me know if you want. Like, I don't know what it is. Um, but yeah, I have been fully entertained the last couple weeks. It has been action packed with the drums. Okay, for blush, let's see. What does the blush look like on this filter? I feel like it's not too intense. No, it's like more peachy, more chill. So let's do a more peachy chill blush. Also, I wanted to use these new brushes and highlighter. This is the Sigma and Christman, Christman, Kristen Dominique, um, brush set and then these new highlighters. So I've been dying to try these. Um, this came in the mail right before I got sick. So I've just been waiting to use them. Ooh, okay, we got some bigger ones and some smaller ones. Let's do this one. Okay, so I'm gonna go into the Savannah highlighter from Sigma and I'm gonna use the Brighten and Bake brush from Sigma and Kristen Dominique. Just gorgeous, very pretty. Let me use my finger, do the nose. Ooh, that is frosty. Okay, so one thing with 
this filter is it did my eyebrows like so perfectly. Um, it's kind of like a weird picture, but whatever. Um, yeah. Love the brows. <sighs> They did a really, the filter did a really good job. This looks like when I got my, 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 my brows, <laughs> when I got my eyebrows microbladed and they were healing, it was like, mm, perfect. So I'm going to try that today. We'll see how this goes. Um, a moment of silence, please. Okay. This one looks crazy, but this one's looking okay. I don't think I nailed it. <laughs> I need to get like a brow stencil or something. Um, I'm gonna go into the Merit brow gel. This has just been my favorite. And coat them to look. I've actually been using this brow gel a lot in the mornings before I go to the gym just because it um, gives me some brow just a little bit because I feel like my brow hairs are just so light. Um, it just gives me like a little bit of something without having to put on like actual makeup. And now I'm gonna prime with the Painterly Paint Pot, my favorite. Man, after being sick for that time, like and genuinely not doing anything for a little over a week, I feel like a piece of shit like i just haven't gotten anything done and i've had so much to do and then my body was just like nope you're not gonna do any of it so i haven't been able to do anything that's just like on my to-do list and so i just feel so behind but like i'm trying not to even like think about it or get overwhelmed because like what even is time you know what i mean like what's time like I felt really bad that I haven't been like able to post any videos or anything. But at the same time, it was like, just, I had to remind myself just to let myself rest. And it is what it is. Like what else, what else am I going to do? You know what I mean? Like you can't force yourself to do something when your body needs to rest and clearly it needed to rest. So um, I keep trying to remind myself of that because I can tend to like, like overthink and be like, girl, you should be doing this and this and this and this. And it's like, well, clearly your body needs to rest. So do that first. I'm feeling that way a lot this week because this week was the week that I started to feel better. And like, I wasn't sick, but my body was just so tired, just so fatigued. And so I had to remind myself, like, that's still part of it. Like easy, don't go balls to the walls and just like, clean your entire house and edit a video and film and work out and do all the things like one step at a time. So, and my emails, like I haven't even opened my email in like two weeks. So I'm just trying not to think about it because if I think about it, I'll get stressed. 2000 emails in there that I have to go through now. It is what it is, right? Okay, so I'm just taking some matte browns in the crease and I'm keeping them, I'm keeping them darker on the outer corner and the outer crease and connecting it to my nose contour. I think that's like one of my favorite things to do with my makeup is really bring this in here, like this and connect it to the nose. It makes it really cohesive, especially like I don't really have very deep set eyes. I don't have like a very prominent crease. You know how some people have those beautiful eyes that like, they just, you, you know what I'm talking about. They got that crease and that lid. Doing makeup on someone's eye like that when I used to do makeup was like, oh, I got so excited. Um, but this kind of gives that illusion of like a deeper set eye if that's what you want. And for this look, because of the filter, it kind of gives that illusion. So that's what I'm doing here with makeup. Okay, I'm gonna bring that on the bottom. And this filter, it doesn't have a ton going on on the bottom, but it does have a little bit. So we're gonna play this by ear. And just go little by little on the bottom, and not go too overboard right off the bat. Okay, and now I'm gonna go in with like a bronzy color on the lid. I'm using this palette from Sigma. It is with, um, so I always thought her name was Ann Nuke, but I watched her video on the introduction to this palette and she said her name is actually Ann Knuck. I think I said that right. Um, so proud of her with this palette. It is so beautiful. Probably my favorite palette that Sigma has created. So congratulations, Ann. Like this is so beautiful um, and especially this like light bronzy shade up here this is so so stunning so this is what I've been using and I'm going to be using the bronzy shades as well so I'm going to take this 
all over the lid and I might add a little bit of this color in as well but we're gonna start with that because it kind of gives that just like almost like a rosy bronze look to the eye and apply it on the lid I think what's interesting too with this TikTok filter is it looks a little bit different on certain people sometimes i feel like there's different versions of it depending on your face like what it decides to do because some people it looks so like almost natural looking and then on some people i feel like it looks so overly glam like on mine it looks so overly glam so um and then i noticed on the people where it looks a little bit more natural and not so overly glam there's not as much of this bronzeness it's more of like um, it looks like their skin tone and this is kind of just like I'm trying to recreate what it looks like on me This is the face I have <laughs> Open up the outer corner And bring it in the crease and Again connect to that nose contour and then I'm gonna bring this underneath as well Just very lightly whatever's left over on this brush and then I'm gonna take smaller more defined brush and pop it on the lash line and flick it upwards okay, I'm gonna highlight my inner corner and my brow okay time for lashes I think that's good for shadow because then when we get the lashes on it'll make it even darker and more bold so I'm gonna curl my lashes I have a little bit of mascara left on from yesterday at nighttime sometimes when I'm feeling lazy I'll like wash my face but I won't take off my mascara because that is just a job so sometimes I just have leftover mascara and then I've got lashes on for the gym like not put lashes on but then I've got like leftover mascara for the gym and I feel I don't know that's just what I do sometimes I'm gonna put a little on the lower the lip gives like a very like neutral matte like a nude so let's do almost like a peachy nude i think that's what we need here um oh and maybe a little bit more on my outer corner we'll see i'm thinking subculture from mac i haven't used this in so long but this used to be my jam when i worked at mac five million years ago let me sharpen this bitch Wow, it's crazy that I used to wear this all the time because this to me is like so pale for my skin tone. We're gonna add to it. Let's do a little bit of oak from MAC. Another favorite. We're just gonna add on to this and make it a little bit warmer, a little bit deeper. So like I accidentally overlined like an insane butt. Like, I wouldn't wear my lips out like this, but from far away, like in the viewfinder, I'm like, mm, it's kind of looking like that filter. <laughs> um, I'm actually, I want to emphasize the cupid's bow a little bit more. Okay, okay. I need like a little bit of peachiness. I need a little warmth to this. So for my lipstick, I'm going to do the Sierra lipstick from Makeup by Mario because it is warmer. So this needs a little bit of tweaking for me to look like that filter. I need a little bit more chisel here. So instead of adding, I'm going to do this. A little bit of chiseling on this nose because that nose is chiseled. Oh, Mickey, you're so fine. You're so fine. You blow my mind. And then I need more peachiness on my cheeks. I'm very lightly going to intensify the crease here just on the outer part Bring it up in a diagonal pushing like this not down again Just pushing it up to give that appearance Wiggle 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 cute Cute the lip is growing on me. I still feel like it needs more peachiness, but okay. I had to add cold brown From Anastasia. It just needed that little extra oomph 
Okay, I think all that's left is lashes, so let's do it. Um, the lashes that I have out here are um, understated from Velour. Let me get them out of their packaging. This is what they look like, so I'm gonna pop these on. Also, while my lash glue's drying, I'm just adding onto my nose contour. I was thinking about going to yoga tonight, but I end up second guessing, unless I just take off all my makeup, that would probably work. <laughs> Plus it's hot yoga, so I'm gonna drip sweat. Okay, lashes are on. I feel like those were the perfect lash for this because with the filter, what I realized is that with the filter, what I noticed is you can really see the shadow and the lashes are there, but they're kind of just secondary. They don't really take over with the look. And I feel like that's exactly what these lashes do. This would actually be like a very beautiful bridal look. I've actually been thinking how I wanna do another bridal tutorial. It's been a couple years and like, it's wedding season is upon us. It's all kind of starting to amp up now. So if you want one, let me know. Um, but I feel like this would be such a gorgeous bridal look. So anyway, I'm gonna set with the um, Morphe setting spray. And let's see here. I wanna go switch out my earrings because I feel weird without my bigger hoops. And let's see about this hair. What do I wanna do with the hair? Do I just wanna leave it up like this? What are we doing? What's the vibe? Ooh, okay. Is this the vibe? Is it cute? I can't really tell. I think it's kinda cute. It's a little Pam anderson -y. I like it. Let me go get my earrings and we will conclude the video. Okay, this is the final look up close so you can see what this looks like. I went in the bathroom. My nose contour is far too strong. I'm hoping on camera it looks all right because on the monitor it looks okay, but I would not leave the house with my nose like this. Maybe I should. Let me take a picture and see what we're looking like because yeah, like on my phone, it's not that bad. Whatever. <laughs> Oh well, it is what it is. Um, I actually really love this look. Probably if I was gonna do this without trying to copy a filter, I probably <coughs> would tone down the skin just a little bit with the contour, tone down the overlining of the lips, but the eyes, I do this look, kind of look all the time, but I don't know, I feel like, let me zoom out. I feel like we have been on a natural makeup trend for a couple years now, pretty much since 2020 hit, since like, all of that, I feel like the um, clean girl aesthetic was in and just like all of that. And um, I love that. I love that whole vibe. I love that all of us have gotten a little bit more comfortable with like less makeup and stuff like that. However, lately I have just been feeling like <sighs> this draw to do just like more intense makeup looks again, which I'm so excited about because it has been so long, like since that like phase of, even just like that phase of YouTube and not saying that I like need that phase of YouTube to do it, but just like even my passion and drive to do those sorts of things has just been coming back again. And I just feel like that's what's so fun about trends is they come and they go and they ebb and they flow, they weave around. And so I am just kind of like wanting to do more like super dramatic not so wearable looks again. Like even the face makeup, even though it's like so strong and dramatic, I'm just like, I'm loving it. I feel snatched. You know what I mean? But yeah, I really enjoyed this video. I had so much fun hanging out and doing my makeup with you um, and talking about things that in no way impact my life or your life and just like entertaining things. I hope you guys watched those shows that I was mentioning because um, otherwise, I don't know if that would have been as interesting, but, um, yeah, I'm excited about my new hair and just like not having extensions in, it feels so good. I feel just like, I don't know, just like free in a way. I know that sounds so silly for something so small, but yeah. Anyway, thank you for hanging out with me today. I'm excited to get back into like filming stuff and get the ball rolling again. I feel like I'm so behind, but also like I'm not, it's fine. Things happen. Life happens the way it's supposed to happen. So thank you so much for watching. Thanks for hanging out with me today and I will see you very soon. Bye.